I'm wearing this jumper especially. Faster? Yes. Right. Okay. For, for me? Yes. Oh, thanks. This is power for you. Th thanks a lot. For 2018. Thanks, oh, <laughs> thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It's um, important. It is very important. Valentino, if, if life is like a battery and 100% is perfect, what for you gives power and takes power away from your life? G uh, p uh, give to me power when, when I do something that I like. Okay. Like uh, ride the motorcycle or... Uh, share time with my friends or uh, stay at home relax mm -hmm. like this and uh, I lose power uh, in the opposite when I have to do something that uh, I doesn't want or uh, I have to go in one place that uh, I don't want uh, or, or, or like this more or less I think so if we look at this season can I ask you if if the race at Phillip Island did that bring power to you yeah for sure very much yeah yeah, yeah. i think better than philip island just awesome because i won yeah but philip island was a uh, great a lot a lot of power yes and is it these kind of races that you need to keep in to stay in the championship just th th those those emotions and those feelings on the podium and that race yeah you know is uh is important be competitive it's important, uh, what I like is uh, work during the weekend and uh, fix the problems, improve and be strong in the race. This is, this is the way. A uh, race like Philip Island are unbelievable and uh, if I can win a race like this, uh, uh, you can have extra power for one year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, this, this is the important and uh, sometimes during this season we're struggling too much and uh, we have uh, we had a very tough weekend like uh, Jerez, Barcelona or Austria or Motegi where we arrive uh, with the problems and after three days we have the same problems. Right. And the, the problem is, well what is the problem? Is it, is it the chassis? Good question. Or, yeah. <laughs> we, we, always, uh, we always fight with the rear tyre. Mm -hmm. With the rear tyre uh, on the wet, with the rear tyre on the dry. Uh, we suffer very much when uh, the grip level is uh, low and uh, we are not able to put, uh, to give to the rear tire what the rear tire wants. Maybe too much, maybe not enough, but this is the problem. Uh, unfortunately, this year, for fix, uh, for improve the bike of last year, uh, we create other problems. Okay. So, in Phillip Island, we saw how MotoGP has changed over the years and become really fierce. I mean, that fighting was extraordinary. You said, if this is the battle, I'm ready to play. But at what point does that battle become on the edge of respect? When is it not acceptable? How far does it have to go? Allora, for me, what I think is uh, that usually you have to try to overtake without touch the other, uh, the other bike. Uh, but it's also true that uh, in, in, in my career I was uh, also uh, aggressive in, in some uh, movement and I touch sometimes the, the other guys. Uh, but uh, in the last lap, in the last two laps, now is uh, from the beginning to the end, <laughs> like this. So I, I learned when I grow up that the, the MotoGP, motorsport in general, is not a contact sport, okay? Uh, but uh, hey, respect, respect I think is a big word in this moment. <laughs> you think it went over the line of respect in that race? Uh, no, Bo, I don't know, you know, it, it, it's difficult to say, uh, it's difficult. At the end it was, it was a great, great battle. Yeah, it was. It was uh, it but uh, you, you arrive at the end with all the black stripes everywhere, uh, okay. But then, <laughs> if, if it's okay, it's okay. But when you're in that situation and it's happening, then I guess it's, it's, is it one where you, if you don't play, then you are further back. So you make the decision. You, you, have, uh, you have to change your behavior. Uh, because uh, at the beginning, maybe you are a bit angry and uh, you go to speak with the other rider, but nothing changes. So you have to be like him. Your life across the paddock has changed. The complexion has changed over recent years because of VR46. Uh, how important is it for you? I can see it's already important by your face, though. What does it bring to you in terms of opportunity and, and feeling? Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's great. I, I like a lot. Uh, I don't expect to enjoy like this. But when you work with the young riders, it's, uh, it's like you restart from zero. 
and uh, I enjoy very much. So we start everything uh, not serious uh, for uh, a situation. That, create a situation, the situation arrive, arrive Morbidelli, no, at the beginning arrive Simoncelli, and we start to help, and after, uh, for me, the, the incident to, to, to Simoncelli uh, was the real, the real start of this idea, to make the academy and to, to help other riders. And after arrive Morbidelli, arrive Migno, my brother growing up and they start to race, uh, you know, so you say, okay, why not? And after we have the team and everything, but uh, is is great. I en I enjoy very much. Now, is uh, something also for the future. Exactly. So for the future, when do you think we'll see a VR46 MotoGP team? Uh, I don't know. When when uh, so now no, because uh, I think no. But maybe when uh, when I stop, uh, uh, we we can decide. But for me, it's very good to uh, make Moto3, Moto2, because it's another, another uh, type of work, is helping the young riders. Yeah. After, when arriving in MotoGP, it's, it's another world. Uh, you need uh, the a factory team, you need uh, a, 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 to help you, if not, it's, it's very difficult. But uh, in the future, why not? Okay. Uh, when you've retired. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on that subject, I imagine when you're a motorcycle racer, to be at the pinnacle of the world, winning the MotoGP World Championship, must be the feeling that, that you can ever have ever in your life. Does it scare you to know that one day that's... Very much. Yourself? Yes. Scared me very much, yes. Uh, because uh, I, I love my life, uh, uh, also the rest, uh, but uh, all uh, around uh, is, is uh, very much around the MotoGP, around the ride the motorcycle, you know? So without that, uh, you need to, to, to find something else. I think that will be very boring. Well, thank goodness you have your VR Academy. Maybe that will bring you yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not the same, but similar. similar. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes uh, we, we follow the race uh, on Sunday, Moto3 and Moto2, and I'm, I'm already tired, and they say, <laughs> I have to, still, still I have my race. <laughs> but it's, it's good, yes, it's just some positive energy. But you seem to still have a lot of positive energy. Do you think that you can still win a 10th title? Ah, this is the target for sure. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, it's very, very difficult, but uh, it's not impossible. Okay. Will, do you stay here for that, or would you stay here to win races? <clears throat> the the main target is try to win the championship, uh, but uh, the second target is try to win races. The third target is try to make good races and arrive on the podium. Anyway, enjoy, because uh, what I understand during these 20 years is uh, the, the reason that I race is uh, the 10, 12 hours, uh, the, the feeling that you have uh, 12 hours uh, after a victory yeah. or after uh, a race like in Philippe Island. The buzz. Yeah, yeah. This is the only, the only great uh, motivation. Not the numbers, not, not all the rest is uh, just uh, something uh, not very important. And uh, this weekend, uh, the battle Marquez Dovi. Who would you like to win the championship this year? Allora, who, who I, I, I like? Oh, I don't know. I want to say that uh, it's interesting because uh, on the paper is a finish, you know, uh, because uh, 21 points are very very much, and and also because uh, this tra in this track uh, Marquez is uh, very 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 strong and Dovi not a lot, no. no? So, but this is the season of the surprise, you know, and so everything can happen until uh, the end of the race. Well, Valentino, thank you for your time. Grazie. Oh, we look Always forward a pleasure. To, thank you very much. Can we come to the ranch next year and have a, some, do some filming with you Yes, there? yes, we organize, uh, it's a fantastic place. And uh, it's always uh, it's a fantastic place in general, but they have a great atmosphere. And when we train, uh, it's, it's funny to follow. And we get all the academy boys, yeah, the whole yeah. team, and we do something big yeah, together. Yeah, like this with a knife uh, here. Uh, <laughs> try, try to make the best lap time. And you teach me. You can teach me. Yes, yeah, so you want to try? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's quite easy. Okay. You, you can do. Thank you. Okay. Great. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, thank you. So, okay. See you during the week. Thank you for your time. So, so. <laughs>